The human brain is made up of billions of neurons and blood vessels. The brain is like a control tower that oversees every function of our body. Due to the complex structure of the brain, brain diseases are hard to treat. Although many people think brain diseases are intractable illnesses that suddenly appear and threaten people's lives, they should no longer be so afraid. Ms. Ananyan, who is 75 years old, was brought to the emergency room two weeks ago because of cerebral hemorrhaging. Although she survived thanks to a swift surgery, she still needs rehabilitation therapy because the hemorrhage left her with motor disturbance. She was alone at home when she suddenly had a stroke. She wouldn't have recovered so well if her family hadn't been contacted right away. In Ms. An's case, extensive cerebral hemorrhaging occurred when a swollen blood vessel in her brain burst. Both the cerebral hemorrhage that occurs when the blood vessel in the brain ruptures and the cerebral infarction that develops when brain tissues die due to a blockage in the vessel are called a stroke. According to the statistics on the top 10 causes of death by WHO, a stroke is a dangerous illness second only to heart diseases. <laughs> Ms. Han Sang-bun, who is 53, was also brought to the hospital two months ago because of a cerebral hemorrhage. She suddenly became paralyzed when she got home from trekking and soon after lost consciousness. The hemorrhage occurred in her left brain and left her with a slight speech impairment. At the time of bleeding, a part of Ms. Han's blood vessel in the brain was inflated like a balloon. When the muscular coat of a brain artery becomes weak and cannot withstand the pressure from blood flow, it becomes inflated like a balloon, and this is called a cerebral aneurysm. It is sometimes referred to as a time bomb in the head, because it can lead to cerebral hemorrhage and cause severe damage to the brain. Dort and needle time is the time it takes to receive surgical treatments from the moment you arrive at the hospital. The shorter the time, the better the chances are of recovery. This hospital has an emergency system that shortens the door to needle time to within 40 minutes. When a patient suspected of having brain artery problems arrive, an angiogram is done first to see the blood vessels in the brain at a glance. <laughs> The doctor can check the shape and the size of the cerebral aneurysm through the 3D image received from the 3D angiography machine and prepare an appropriate treatment.
이 풍선이 이렇게 있지 않습니까? 풍선이 있으면 이게, 이걸 막 켜면 되는 거죠. 피가 이렇게 절정 이렇게 놓으니까 네. 이것만 딱 막고 Endovascular coiling, which is done without cutting open the brain, is used a lot to treat cerebral aneurysm. Fine platinum coil is used instead of a scalpel. In endovascular coiling, a platinum coil is inserted into the aneurysm using a microcatheter, and the coil blocks the flow of blood to the aneurysm. When the microcatheter reaches the cerebral aneurysm, a platinum coil is quickly inserted into the catheter. The number and the size of the coils that fill the aneurysm depend on the experience and the skill of the surgeon in charge. The aneurysm may burst if even one wrong move is made, so the procedure is always done cautiously. All six platinum coils have been inserted and the surgery is finished. 위에 있는 혈관을 다 살리고 하고 막 이렇게 돼야 될때 상당히 어렵습니다. 지금 보면 옆에 있는 조그마한 동맥까지 다 살려 놨거든요. After the coils have been inserted, the risk of a ruptured aneurysm has been successfully avoided. At the Cerebrovascular Center, the medical staff from departments of neurosurgery, radiology, and rehabilitation medicine work in close cooperation to provide an intensive care to stroke patients. The center was awarded the Medical Korea Award five years in a row, which is an award given to medical facilities of excellence chosen by patients for its successful efforts at treating strokes. 외국 사람들 많이 물어보죠. 당신도 어떻게 이렇게 잘하고 빠르냐 이러면 우리가 항상 말하는 게 수술은 우리 젓가락을 많이 쓰지 않느냐 그런 미세한 미묘한 이런 그 수술에 상당히 적합하다는 것도 있고요. 그래서 뭐 저는 감히 그 뇌졸중의 치료에서는 한국은 세계에서 리딩 컨트리, 리딩 국가라고 그렇게 말할 수 있습니다. Stroke treatments provided by Korean hospitals show advances that are ahead of others in the world. According to a report presented by the OECD, Korea ranked almost top among the 27 OECD member countries. A patient came to the hospital from a faraway country. Damiran is a 21-year-old brain tumor patient from Mongolia. Damiran has poor eyesight. She can barely discern shapes with her left eye. The brain tumor is the cause of her poor eyesight. <laughs> Brain tumors are regarded with such terror because depending on where it develops, it may cause impairment in areas related to that section of the brain. Damiran lives in a small village called Tuland, which is 500 kilometers away from Ulaanbaatar, the capital of Mongolia. She sought out a hospital in Mongolia after suffering from severe headaches and nausea. She was diagnosed with a brain tumor a month later at a hospital in Ulaanbaatar, and since then had stayed home on bed rest. Thankfully, she came in contact with Seoul St. Mary's Hospital and received the chance to treat her illness in Korea a year after the illness first occurred. She was given a full medical checkup first to decide on her treatment. Her test results showed that she had a big brain tumor in the ventricle of her brain. Cerebrospinal fluid has been gathering in her ventricle because of her tumor, so the brain pressure has resulted in the deterioration of her eyesight. So, first, this tumor is successfully removed, and as it goes down, the blood pressure is increased, and the blood pressure is increased, and the blood pressure is increased. 
Thankfully, she was operable. Demirin has been suffering from severe pain for a year now. Will she be able to return to her normal life, be able to study, and have fun with her friends after the surgery? The operation has begun. It is very important to precisely define the surgical location when it comes to a brain tumor surgery. Dr. Chun cautiously discusses surgical methods. A cutting-edge surgical tool called neuronavigation will be used to eliminate any chances of a mistake. A 3D video image provides big help in gauging the location and the size of the tumor. The success of this surgery lies in how much of the tumor that's located in the ventricle can be removed. The doctor must penetrate the ventricle located in the center of the brain. It will be a difficult surgery because the tumor is big and it is tangled up with arteries. <laughs> The surgery, which began at 8 a.m., ended at 3 a.m. the next day. Two weeks later, Damien survived the major surgery that took 19 hours. She is getting better every day. How much has she recovered? Dr. Chun, her surgeon, has come to see her. They decided to check her sight through a simple test. Until now, she could only see what was right in front of her eyes. She can even read the title now. Seventy percent of her tumor has been removed, and the remaining thirty percent can be treated with radiation therapy. 이미 잘 갖춰져 있는 인프라와 그 수술적인 기술을 통해서 저희 한국의 내종양 수술 그 수준은 세계적인 수준에 와 있다고 생각을 합니다. The Miran came through two weeks of surgery and treatments in Korea with flying colors. She is now eagerly waiting for the day she can go home. The brain tumor, one of the most feared diseases. Dami Run has been given a second chance at life in Korea, and we wish only happiness and hope await her in the future. <laughs>